Hello everyone. We want to wish you a very, very happy and Merry Christmas. This is such a special time of the year, filled with not only the love of Christ and the birth of Christ, but it is the time, especially in the year, when people's hearts begin to open up. And it is a very good thing to use this time personally to open your heart to include others, to include those that may need love and not necessarily receive it very easily. Now is the time to heal any negativity between you and other people. But more than that, it is a time to make a deep connection with the Christ consciousness. You know, the Christ consciousness is that unifying force where in that uh, high state of consciousness, one realizes that there is only one being in the universe, and that is us. And we're connected with all of the other, one might say, manifestations of that one being. So as we commune with that Christ consciousness, we naturally feel our connection with everyone else. Yogananda always had a tradition of having a spiritual Christmas before the social Christmas. The spiritual Christmas was a long meditation, generally an eight-hour meditation, in which one tried as deeply as possible to commune with that Christ consciousness. And those who can still their mind and still their heart will receive that deep, uplifting, expansive, joyous reminder of who we really are. And then he followed that by a social Christmas, because naturally this is the time of year when we want to connect with our loved ones and to share in the joy of this holy season. So we invite you to participate in both of those. If you're online, we're having a long meditation from 6 until 2 on the December 21st, 6 until 2 Pacific time. And if you can join us for that, it would be wonderful. Otherwise, we wish you a very, very happy Christmas filled with joy and filled with the presence of Christ. Hello. I too want to wish you a very, very happy Christmas in God, Christ, and our gurus. You know, Yoganandaji brought so many wonderful teachings from India, and one might say he translated them then to the West. So we could see both the universal aspects of the Western religious tradition and to see the unity between East and West. and. Uh, he spoke of steps towards achieving this Christ consciousness. And one, as Jatish was talking about, is sympathy for others, universal sympathy, and to look at all people everywhere and to see them as your own brothers and sisters, even those who may have hurt you. It's a time for forgiveness and forgetting, releasing of all past hurts, in the past year and just to be looking ahead to a time where you, everyone in your life is someone that you think of with harmony and joy and friendship. And then <clears throat> Master, of course, spoke of the metaphysical way to achieve Christ consciousness. And this is through the deep practice of meditation and Kriya Yoga. And sometimes we get, when we learn meditation or in our practice of meditation or Kriya Yoga, we can become uh, technical yogis. We can focus on the technical aspects of the practices. But in this time of year, when the Master said the consciousness of Christ becomes very palpable, very tangible on earth, Let's remember in our meditation to have every practice be filled with devotional self-offering 
to the Christ consciousness. And so may this Christmas time be filled with many blessings. May you enjoy the company of friends and family. And, but more important, may you feel the be awakening within you of that universal Christ consciousness. This is what we have been born to awaken to. It is why Christ was born. It was why Yoganandaji was born, why all the great masters of every religion were born to awaken us to this divine cosmic consciousness that is our own highest potential. So Merry Christmas to you.